All right, so if you're like me and you use a Windows computer, then this video is for you because Windows keeps getting better and better. I mean, it now looks much cleaner and with every major update, Windows has silently introduced new hidden features. Now, there are simpler ones like if you don't save your notepad and restart the system, see, notepad has same information saved. Now, there's also Windows snap feature which makes you a pro user. So, these are all common features like you know it, I know it. But this video is going to be different because today we'll be telling you about seven useful hidden Windows feature that will make your life easier and make any Mac user super, super jealous. Two birds with one stone, win-win for the Windows. See what I did there? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, so see, I have this photo of me which I took from this phone, but Sam forgot to take it in portrait mode and now I can't do anything. So now I just open the photo in Windows, go here and now I can add background blur. It detects me very accurately and now I can select the intensity, everything done. Looks so much better now. Also, you can add in filters, adjust brightness, color, everything. Now, yes, it is not as robust as say Photoshop, but it is much better and for chota mota asan edits, it gets the job done. Similarly, there is also updates to the inbuilt video editor. So now you can use AI to edit your videos. Like see, I'll select the video, also a few pictures. I mean, just one click, it will analyze all the footages. You can select a style of video edit that you want. Plus you can add text, sound effects and all of that. And here is the finished product. Now, talking about AI, we at TechWiser firmly believe that AI won't replace humans, but humans using AI will replace humans. Like AI helps you and makes your work more productive. And talking about productivity, here's a word from our sponsor, Magical AI Writer. Now, it is a free Chrome extension and two things it does really great. Number one, see if I have a Twitter tab open over here about TechWiser and now I think I should write an email to TechWiser. I can go to Gmail and just type colon intro. See, it picks up TechWiser as the name smartly because I have a Twitter tab open about TechWiser. Similarly, you can create small templates of often words that you use, like this outro that I do every time. See, I don't need to type it again and again. Number two, I don't think anyone should be typing mails manually at this point of time. So all you have to do is hit forward slash twice. Magical AI will bring a pop-up. And now you just say, write an email asking for two days leave for vacation to Manali. Boom, there you go, done. And not just that, in any email, if you go down, you'll have AI generated replies and you can also write custom emails. And Magical AI works seamlessly on all other websites like Gmail, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, etc. So you can download Magical AI from the first link in the description. And talking about AI, a lot of Windows features have gotten AI additions. Like the screenshot tool, which has gotten two new AI additions. First is the text extractor. Okay, so see, yes, Ayan has sent me this image, best restaurants in Diwali. Let's go with Imperfecto. But I don't want to type in the address and all of that. So all I have to do is, take a screenshot of it and over here it is showing me text actions now i can just copy the text and paste it into whatsapp done second is quick redact and this is a handy privacy feature so suppose i want to take a screenshot of this whatsapp window and there is sensitive information like email id or phone number here i just go to quick redact it blacks out the sensitive details this is very handy i hope now my number won't get leaked anymore if you know you know next up is screen recorder so previously if you wanted to do screen recording you would need a third party software and they were either paid or left a watermark but with the new update you can do it for free so suppose if you just hit windows shift s you will get the normal screenshot tool but go to start menu type snipping tool over here you will now see the camcorder icon and now you can just select the area where you want to record and you can do screen recording without any watermark let's see if i view the details of the video see the screen recording is in full 1080p resolution good one windows just killed all the third party screen recording apps one more down the drain. Another change with the new Windows update is the new Paint app. So for a long time, I think during the time of Windows Vista, Paint has always remained the same. A very basic place to just scribble. But now it is so much more. Like my favorite thing is this layer system. It is very similar to Photoshop. You can add layers, modify or even delete them. But this is the best part. You can actually remove the entire background from your photo with just one click. Plus now in the beta version of Paint, you also have co-create. So you can just type in text to generate images using the latest DALI 3. And suppose I just type a monkey sitting in an office working on a laptop and see the final product is so good. Next up is my favorite co-pilot and it can do so many things. So I have this big TechWiser article. Now I can just press Windows C anywhere and co-pilot opens. And if I say summarize this with bullet points, See, it does a so good job. Nice. Now you can even do other AI tasks like suppose write me a leave application for Diwali. See, all of these are there. But my favorite one is this. I can now ask it to create any image and it will use DALI 3 to create it. So suppose I type astronaut smoking a cigar. 
and see the results are pretty good. Now you don't need to open the AI website separately. The new update brings AI features all at one place under Copilot. And by the way, Copilot is replacing Cortana, which no one misses. At least I don't. Now, if you're an Edge user like me, then you're gonna love these features because Edge just went OP. Like now you have this new split screen icon and I've been using this quite often. Like I can have Google Docs open on this side and then I can open split screen and now I can open YouTube and watch video on the other tab. Multitasking supremacy. Now, yes, this is not exactly a new feature because previously you could do the same thing with Windows Snap, but there you had to open multiple browser windows. Here it is happening much more cleaner within one browser tab. Other than these, there are also a few PDF related features with Edge. Now, if you open any PDF in Edge, you have this button called Ask Copilot. And now you can use AI to summarize the entire PDF for you. And here's the best one. You can ask it questions regarding the PDF. So suppose I open the Constitution of India and I just ask Copilot, what is the name of the country as per the constitution? See, it searches the entire PDF and gives you the answer. So now both Bharat and India are legitimate and legal names. So that's there. And here's the one feature that I frequently use. You can now tap on this read aloud option and it will start reading out the entire PDF for you while you can just chill. It also works for articles. So introducing Pixel 8 Pro. The All Pro phone. And finally, this has to be one of the most underrated new features. If you press Windows plus H, you can use voice typing and it is very accurate. Let me show you. I'll read out the first two lines of this article. The mouse cursor or pointer on your Windows computer changes color based on the app you're using and see how accurate it is. It takes punctuation automatically and here's the best part. You can select language like suppose Hindi and now I'm Hindi and I don't know how to type it but it looks good. Like it works well. It's good that it is typing all of that in English. But with the update, I think the regional language should get better. It's not perfect. Overall, I think more people should use the inbuilt voice typing feature. So those were the seven cool and hidden features of Windows 11. Now, some of these features are present only under beta as of now, but they will definitely come to Windows stable update a month or two down the line. And if Windows 12 launches as per the leaks, expect all these AI features and more of them to come pretty soon in 2024. Also, let us know in the comment section which feature you like the best or if there are more hidden features that we missed if you pick yours we'll give you a shout out until then this is the signing see you in the next video pew pew pew